so you're not just using arm paddling. So if I'm paddling just like this a lot, like it might feel like I'm putting in a lot more work, uh, but it's actually gonna be a lot harder for you because if you wanna be paddling down the river or maybe you're hanging out for a while on the river, you wanna uh, make sure that you, uh, yeah, can like use bigger muscle groups that'll uh, give you more stamina for longer. And that's gonna be your hips, and your lower body. That's gonna help you out a lot. Uh, so, to wake up the hips a little bit, uh, what I want you to do is spread your feet out a little bit. Awesome. And then, I just want you to put it, this to like the midline of your body here. And, I would imagine like you're kinda like, you're like, uh, you're like, you're spinning on a stick, like a, like a rotisserie chicken, just like, just like this. Yeah. And keep your feet planted. And I just want you to notice where your hips like naturally stop where they can't go any further. So we don't need to be stretching like all the way to nine o'clock and three o'clock. Just like, yeah. You're kind of going from like 10 o'clock to about two o'clock. Cool. Awesome. Now I want, to hold, I want you to hold it in front of you and bring this to your chest. And have this little piece of white tape wedged to your chest. And I want you to do that same thing. Not say side to side, but your your upper body is just along for the ride. You're all doing it great. Yeah. You're letting your hips and your legs do the movement. And your upper body is following. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Now do the same thing. Bring it down to your pelvis. Not down by your hips. And do the same thing. You might be moving not as far. And I want you to make sure that you keep uh, this wand, this PVC pipe here, like wedged to your, both your pelvic bones. So just kind of like how Ed is doing over here. This thing rocks out. Yeah. Cool. Now bring your hands in front of you. The way that we're gonna hold the paddle, your arms kind of have like a, a slight bend in the elbow. They're not all the way dinosaur arms. They're not straight arms either. It's this like athletic bend in the elbow. And as we rotate here, your arms are gonna stay in the same position. Your elbows aren't gonna collapse. It's gonna stay, stay like this. And I want you to imagine that there's like a, a big beach ball in between your chest and the paddle that is staying the same size the whole time. Nice, Jaden. Nice, George. Yeah. Cool. Now, let's pretend this is a big wheel. And I want you to just do this with your shoulders. Now, uh, real quick, do you think uh, when we paddle, we want the paddle to be all the way up here or just like kind of low like this? Low. Yeah, low. Because when it's up here, I'm going to be using all shoulders and also, I think, too, uh, this. Uh, paddle at the top might get caught in the wind a little bit and, and push you a little bit. So the lower we keep it, uh, the more we're going to need to use our hips. So what I want to do is uh, wheel the paddle and then rotate. Wheel, rotate. Yeah. And follow my lead. Wheel, rotate. Wheel, rotate. Wheel, rotate. Wheel, rotate. Awesome. Yeah. And now keep doing this, but I want you to pay attention to your arms. Notice that my, my elbows aren't coming any closer to my chest at all. I still have this same like box shape here. Yeah. So it's mostly my hips and my legs that are kind of like the engine of my paddle here. Yeah, they're doing most of the movement. Now, uh, last time when Lorenzo uh, taught you, were you uh, trying to like, were you like stepping into your feet at all while you were paddling? I think he's told us. Yeah. So, uh, one thing that'll really help you, uh, not just be doing all arms that'll help you, is, uh, is uh, step, like, it's not like controlling the boat per se, but uh, if you step into uh, your feet, uh, your foot pegs while you're paddling, it kind of helps make it be a full body stroke. 
So if I'm gonna paddle on my right, I'm stepping into my right foot. Stepping in my right foot. So a good way to practice that, if, if you hit forward like this, and just watch me actually first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing the same type of rotation we were doing earlier, but then take a look at my, my knees and my feet. I'm stepping into my left foot as I'm going to the left, stepping into my right foot on the right. Left foot, left side, right foot, right side, left foot, left side, right foot, right side. Yeah, so practice that. And then uh, keep, keep this attached to your chest here. Yeah. little dance but so that's kind of what the motion is so when we're actually seated in the boat I, uh, my feet will kind of look and you don't need to take a seat just now but I'm pressing into my right foot left foot Does this make sense mm. yeah so if you think about it like my arm can only do so much here but this I get power from my hand my arm all the way to my toes yeah, kind of like this. And, it, and it, uh, if that if that's something that you can work your way towards, you you can go for a long time. Uh, so that's that's like basically teaching you endurance. Um, yeah, especially if you're going a uh, long ways in the river too. Um, cool. So that's our little physical warm up. You can hand me.